Have you ever thought that Neanderthals are a thing of the past? Well think again, recent evidence suggests that the genetic legacy of this extinct species is still alive in modern humans. In this video, we'll explore the possibility of Neanderthals returning and what their role in society could be. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's take a journey back in time to explore the fascinating world of Neanderthals. Hold on, Neanderthals no longer exist? Before you chuckle, take a moment to think. Neanderthals may have gone extinct, but their genetic legacy still exists in modern humans. In fact, Neanderthal DNA is almost identical to our own, with a 99.7% match. Recent studies suggest that certain humans may carry up to 2% of the Neanderthal genome. This means that many of us have inherited some of the genetic traits that were once present in the Neanderthal population. What's even more remarkable is that scientists have obtained an almost complete DNA sequence from a Neanderthal skeleton that is 50,000 years old. This breakthrough in technology has allowed us to understand more about the genetic makeup of our distant relatives, and has sparked new discussions about the possibility of resurrecting the Neanderthal species in theory. It's possible that we share more similarities with Neanderthals than we realize, despite their physical differences. For example, while their bigger brains didn't necessarily make them smarter than us, they were capable of communicating with their own kind. Neanderthals had a sophisticated form of language that involved vocalizations, hand gestures, and facial expressions. They also lived in family communities and exhibited care for their sick and elderly, showing a sense of compassion and empathy. In fact, it's believed that the care given to the infirm and elderly members of their society was a key factor in the survival of the Neanderthal species for over 300,000 years. Additionally, they were skilled at crafting sophisticated tools that could have served a variety of purposes, from hunting to even building ships. Their toolmaking abilities demonstrate a level of intelligence and creativity that is often attributed to modern humans. Furthermore, they cooked and consumed vegetables, a practice that not all of us can claim. This suggests that Neanderthals had a level of sophistication in their dietary habits that was not previously recognized. Although the Neanderthal species went extinct over 40,000 years ago, their legacy lives on through modern humans. The similarities we share with Neanderthals in terms of language, social behavior, and intelligence suggest that they were not so different from us. Despite the physical differences that once set us apart, it's clear that Neanderthals were an intelligent and resourceful species that left a lasting impression on human evolution. With new advances in technology and genetic research, there is even the possibility that Neanderthals could return in theory. While we may never know for certain what a world with Neanderthals in it would look like, we can appreciate the valuable contributions that this species made to our evolutionary history. If we consider Neanderthals as an earlier version of humans, it raises the question, could they have coexisted with us? It is an interesting query, and the fact is that they did. For approximately 5,000 years, Neanderthals and Homo sapiens lived side by side in Europe, and it's probable that they even interbred. In fact, research shows that non-African people have between 1.5% to 2.1% of Neanderthal DNA. However, African populations did not travel through Eurasia, and as such, they do not carry any Neanderthal DNA. Due to the larger Homo sapien population, it's plausible that modern humans absorbed the Neanderthal species, rather than coexisting with them as a separate group. During their time on Earth, Neanderthals had well-developed cultures, were skilled hunters, and made tools that were more advanced than those of their predecessors. Despite their physical differences, such as having longer skulls and being shorter than Homo sapiens, Neanderthals settled in family communities, took care of the sick and the elderly, and even cooked their vegetables, which was a practice that Homo sapiens didn't adopt until much later. One possibility is that we outcompeted Neanderthals for resources during the last Ice Age, leading to their extinction. However, regardless of which theory is correct, it raises the question of if the current conclusion is inaccurate. If Neanderthals had evolved as a separate but similar species to human, how would they have survived? Despite their advanced communication and craftsmanship abilities, the laws of natural selection suggest that Homo sapiens would still be considered superior, making the survival prospects for the Neanderthals quite limited. Barring the likelihood of early modern humans breeding them out of existence, Neanderthals would have probably become something like second-class citizens. It's challenging to say how the limitations of their intelligence would have affected their ability to integrate into modern society. Maybe they'd want nothing to do with us. Realizing how our differences outweigh our similarities and would establish their communities and continue to exist independently of the developing world. Assuming that early modern humans didn't breed Neanderthals out of existence, it's likely they would have become a marginalized group in society. It's uncertain how they would have been treated, whether they would have been enslaved, kept in captivity, or forced to fight. It's also unclear if their intelligence would have limited their ability to integrate into modern society, or if they could have evolved alongside Homo sapiens. It's possible that they may have preferred to exist separately from humans, creating their own community communities independent of the rest of the world. Given the significant differences between Neanderthals and Homo sapiens, it's challenging to predict how they would have fared in modern times. Predicting the behavior of a species that became extinct approximately 40,000 years ago is challenging. 
However, it is possible that we can gain insights by observing the world around us. Although Neanderthals are no longer in existence, we evolved alongside them, and some people inherited more of their genetic traits than others. Therefore, it is important to reconsider before calling someone a Neanderthal, as it can be offensive. As we come to the end of our journey exploring the legacy of the Neanderthal species, it's clear that they were not so different from us. They had well-developed cultures, advanced communication, and craftsmanship abilities, and even exhibited a level of care and compassion for their sick and elderly. Although the Neanderthals may have gone extinct, their genetic legacy lives on in modern humans, with many of us carrying up to 2% of the Neanderthal genome. This highlights the significant role that Neanderthals played in human evolution and reminds us of our shared ancestry. As we continue to make groundbreaking discoveries through technology and genetic research, it's exciting to think about what we may uncover in the future. Who knows, perhaps one day, we may even see the possibility of the Neanderthal species returning in some form. Thank you for joining us in this journey of discovery, and we look forward to sharing more exciting scientific findings with you in the future. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it informative. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button below for more content like this. See you at the next one!